In this video, we will create our first Java program. But for it to make sense, I think we need to start in another end. We need to talk about Java as a language. And I think a good starting point for doing that is to compare it to something that we already know, Python. Just a quick refresher of how we have used Python. As we can see here behind me, in Python, we write our code in our script. And then when we want to run the script, the code is executed from the top down. We can, of course, also add functions in our code. But what I want to focus on here is that we just add the code in the script. And when we run the code, it is read from the top and down. Another way of saying it is that the starting point of our Python script is in the beginning of the document. Java works a little bit differently. All Java programs must have a specific starting point, and it is our responsibility as programmers to add this starting point. If we don't, then Java will not know how to run our Java program. And if we compare it to Python, where the starting point is in the beginning of the script, in Java, we have to manually add the starting point by creating a method named main. Without knowing it, when we programmed in Python, we used something called the procedural programming paradigm. It sounds fancy, but what it really means is that we focused on using functions. Java, on the other hand, uses a different approach. It uses what is called the object-oriented programming paradigm. And as one might guess from the name, it focuses on objects. Objects are created from something called classes. And in Java, we must always have at least one class in our programs. So now, when we want to create our first Java program, we too need to take this into account, that we need a class and that we need to create this starting point. Luckily for us, though, uh, IntelliJ will help us with this. So let's have a look here if I create a new project. And we can see here that here in my screen, I already have an SDK selected. But if you're missing one, you can download one or you can add one that you have already downloaded. Uh, but we must make sure that we select Java here on the left. And this is an important step because we need to uh, check this box here so that we use the template for a command line app. And then we name our project. I will name mine uh, my Java program. And we can see here that we already, already got some code generated for us. This code was generated because we ticked that box uh, to use a template. But let us start here on the left. We can see here that it says SEHKR here. Um, in many cases, if you haven't changed it, it says, it says COM company instead. And this is called a package. We can see it on the top here too. On the right, it says package SE.HKR. It means that this file here is in this folder. And then here it says main, that is our class. And if we take a look here on the right hand side, we can see that, all right, here it says that we have a class. Remember, we said that we always need a class in Java. And then here we got some code for the method main. This is the starting point. So when we try to run a Java program, this is where Java will start to read our code. And I will not talk too much about the different parts here. You will learn more about them later when you study Java more. Um, 
So I will skip those parts for now. Just remember that this is where you should start writing your code. And I was thinking that we could print something to the screen. And let's print hello world. So in uh, Java, this is how you would print it. And if we compare it to Python, this is how it would look in Python. So if we want to print something to the screen, we do that using system out print line and then the message that we want to print to the screen. And before we run it, I just want to point out that strings are marked with double quotations in Java. In Python, we can use either single quotation or double quotation, but in Java, we always use double quotation. So if we run it, we do that by pressing the run button or the play button up here on the right hand side. And then the result will be in the lower part of the screen. So we see here it prints hello world. So the main parts here is that we write our code here in our class and the class is marked up here. We can also see it in the tree on the left hand side. And we have our starting point, our main method. We have that here, and this is where we start writing our code. 